Okay, guys, I apologize uh, for possible mishaps in advance because I have not had any coffee or or Russian vodka. Since Good Friday. So the results may not be as as good as usually. Um, but yeah, so we loaded, you see like perfect. I was looking at this, leave like one, you know, two fingers on each side. And uh, like it was off to one side, it was off to another side. And of course, you know, this being the, this being the, uh, the ditch, right? When I'm driving, this is the, I'm in the curb lane. So the road is always tilted. So you definitely don't want the excavator to be to this side. You know, if anything, you want it to be on this side. Anyway, let me start the machine. So yeah, at least I flipped and I, uh, like half of the work is already done. Now compare that bucket with that bucket. That one is like three times bigger. Now you want to go slow because there's a there's a counterweight in the back, but this machine has mirrors everywhere. I mean, it has a mirror there. It has a backup camera here. Almost as good as my uh, Dodge Challenger 6.4. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to get out the uh, the kingpin you know my main kingpin because uh, I was lazy I didn't I didn't grease it and it was super hard to put it back in when I dropped the um, when I dropped the Jeep all right what are we gonna hook up to any ideas guys sorry I cannot hear you all right, I wanted to hook up to this. And I'm using I'm using my medium medium gearing, not that one because I remember I did this at the port and I ran out of the boom. I ran out of the boom. You know because for that one it goes much further much higher up right and yeah you see that pin it was over there everything gets rusted so fast here so I just hope that I'm not gonna run this
What do you guys think? I think it should work. If not, we'll just buy a new trailer because I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to Fontaine anyway to fix that little crack. Hydraulics on. Oh, my new neck. And what are we doing? All right, we have to put these in. See, beautiful. Goes in like there's no tomorrow. is in now if only I can find oh beautiful all right I'm back at the truck stop and the cool thing about this is that it's actually a bit dangerous because actually it's a scale like I mentioned yesterday but the cool thing is that the scale the actual scale is working it's active you know this is so nice so basically it's free free scale and it's a digital um, you know screen and I was able to go and scale all my axles and I'm okay pretty much everywhere just just a little tiny little bit heavy on the on the trailer you know and uh, knowing my empty weight 
with a Jeep and Stinger, but that's with a full, full tanks of fuel. 10 axles, 100% fuel. I'm 72,380 pounds. Right, but now I only have probably three quarters of fuel, so I'm a bit lighter. Uh, yeah, so I don't have full fuel, so let's say I'm 72,000 pounds. So basically this thing, they were telling me it's 82,000 pounds. It's actually, it's actually 86. 86. Actually, if we use the zero, because I don't have full fuel, it's my eight, 86,780 pounds. You know? And what's funny is that, let's see, 86, come on. It's what the eight six seven zero eight divided by two point two thirty nine thirty nine thousand pounds. Maybe the scale is all, but I don't know because usually I know these things are not that uh, they're not this heavy. I hold them uh, without the bucket. They were like seventy nine thousand. It's so actually I got lucky that uh, <laughs> the guy got that big bucket. <laughs> so he was expecting a small one, and uh, you know the uh, the truck showed up there with a roll tight uh, step deck, and this guy Riley grabbed uh, he grabbed uh, Bobcat, and but I'm guessing that bucket is at least like five thousand pounds, you know. So what we're gonna do now is just double check the dimensions. And we are 11 feet, one, two, three. Maybe four. 11, four. Okay. Oh, and one cool thing is, so I hooked up everything like this, right? And then we drop the neck. I, I, I noticed that like the water was dripping down and it had this rusty color, a rust. Like there was a streak of rusty water coming down. And you experienced guys might know what that means. Like, you know, there's water coming, right? Like, there'll be just... Uh... I need, I need, I need to eat something. I haven't eaten anything since morning. So basically... Well, it's hard to see from here, but... Uh, this is the neck that was built by JC Trailer. But there's a weld. See, like this weld, but on the opposite side. And that's where that... Uh, that's where that... Uh, rusty... Uh, rusty water was coming. Yeah, it's hard to see, but it's in the corner at the very top there with like this bar. And at the bottom, at the bottom, I see there's a rusty, you know, it's a crack, you know? It's like unbelievable. This, this year is just not my lucky year. But the good news, there's always silver lining in everything. The good news is that when I got loaded, I got an email from Fontaine saying that they, uh, they approved the, uh, warranty repair and Fontaine is gonna send the PO number to the to the to the hail trailer in Voorhees New Jersey and so once I deliver we're gonna go there and we're gonna fix this and we're gonna fix that like that whole thing looks looks fishy to me and also I'll ask him to fix that of course they'll charge me Oh, and what's cool is that 
I thought it would be touching, but like you know the plate <laughs> is like two one millimeter away from this, but I think it will still help. You know, if I hit it like a pothole, like now at least there's this. So because inside it's it's uh, bigger, not like this, but there's like a piece sticks out over there, and I see there's like a little bit of light, so it's like I don't know one millimeter spacing but I was afraid to make it too tight because then I wouldn't be able to put the pin in you know so a bit of a you know peace of mind even though JC trailer said no you don't need this but it just makes me feel a bit better all right so let's see the wind is picking up son of a gun just want to climb in there because uh, so yeah and of course we have uh, what we have you see now the bucket yeah the previous one was over here I couldn't put it down like this because it was this this far it was hitting the track so I had I would have to lift the uh, you know the entire thing the boom the stick and I told the guy I said I cannot do it it's gonna be too uh, it's gonna be too tall Oh, and we have to... Put this down. Actually, wait a second. This is the wrong way. I need to get over there. So I folded all the mirrors. Always a good idea to improve the fuel economy. <laughs> Let's just say, to improve the non-existent fuel economy. Okay, this is locked. Because the last thing I want... I think it's locked. Anyway. We have to climb in here. So if I fall down, we'll have to redo the measurement. So oh. all right, I think this is our tallest point. Somewhere here. Maybe not. How about? Okay, so yeah, somewhere here we have our just measure to the deck. Of course, as soon as I decided to measure, the wind picked up. Come on. Oh. All right, we're somewhere around 141. 141, 141, 141. And no, I don't need a folding stick. I'm okay like this. I like exercise. So, 141. 141 was to here. 141. And then here we have 24, 141, 165, 165, 165, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 39, perfect. I asked for 1310.
Давай, давай, it's like... Обжегся на молоке, на воду будешь дуть, as they say in Russia. So now I see cracks everywhere, but that was not a crack. Anyway. So, so yeah, so two chains on the body. Going over there. Inside my trailer, two chains on each track. On the side, near the wheel. And two chains in here. And so we have one, two, three, four, four pairs of chains. Yeah, and I can drop, I can drop the front. That's a bit too much. What do we got? Oh, geez. That's, that's definitely too much. Well, I just drop the height a little bit. Then we're gonna go for lunch. I'm gonna clean this mess up and go is a figure of speech because I have all my food in the truck. All right, PTO on. And I had the, I'm supposed to have a light here for PTO, and it comes on every second loading. It's a bit too low. Oh, we go number three. I thought I loaded properly, but I maybe the ground here is a bit tilted, but like one side of the trailer in the front is a bit taller than the other. I don't know what's going on. What's going on with this trailer? I have no idea. But at least the good news is that I know I'll be in good hands. Uh, I know hail trailer that can fix anything. I'll just go there and surrender and I say guys please fix my trailer I don't want any cracks I don't want the trailer to be tilted one way just please fix it uh, if they want me to pay something I'll pay them okay so the plan today is okay it's one o'clock right now local time yeah that's what I thought you see oh you see one o'clock so it took me I, I was there at eight so it took me like four and a half hours to load and that's why now when I'm giving people quotes, I'm don't, I don't put two hours for loading, two hours for unloading. I put four hours for loading, four for unloading. Well, actually, unloading takes quicker. Maybe, maybe so, yeah. Four hours loading, one hour border crossing, that's five plus two, seven. But I use eight, eight hours. That's what I, you know, when I calculate my quote and I go by the hours, how far to drive, to all these uh, fees. And so yeah, it takes a long time, especially when you have to unstack the Jeep and and um, as we are today, I think I'll just drive two hours, two hours to uh, the next Flying J towards Saskatchewan because I got my Alberta permit, but I don't have my Saskatchewan permit. I gotta order it, and that's the plan. So we're gonna one so i'm gonna be there probably okay i'm gonna have lunch 1 30 plus 2 3 30 so i'll be there around 4 and i have my weights i don't have to scale so now i can just 
and it's on the phone I have to call Saskatchewan and uh, permit office and uh, get the permit and uh, we'll go from there so anyway so that's my current adventure cat 336 going to New Jersey through Canada through Ontario Canada and then when I'm home we're gonna drop the Jeep and uh, continue without the Jeep